Business icon Ken Langone is on Forbes magazine's list of the richest people in the world. But he insists he is not a self-made success. Langone grew up in a working class family in Roslyn Heights, New York. He first made a name for himself on Wall Street as billionaire Ross Perot's banker. Langone went on to co-found one of America's largest retailers, Home Depot. In 2008, after a $200 million donation, NYU Langone Medical Center was renamed in his family's honor. Langone wrote a memoir about his unique path to success called I love capitalism, an American story. Ken Langone, welcome. So great to have you, you here. Man. I'm honored to be here. It's, um, it's a great story uh, of how you got to being where you were as a kid to now. And I think one of the really nicest things you say in the beginning is that you could fill Yankee Stadium with all the people that helped you. Absolutely. It's not just a story about a self-made no, millionaire. I'm, I'm far from self-made. Mm -hmm. Starting with my parents, humble, uneducated, um, great, great capacity for unconditional love. Yeah. I was kind of a so-so kid, and they get upset with me. My father used to say to me more than once, if I never see you again, it'll be too soon. <laughs> 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 and, but they always loved me, I knew that, and that's a powerful incentive. And you had been approached uh, many times to write your life story in a book. You yes. turned it down until the election of 2016. And right. you said you were motivated because you saw a whole new generation gravitate towards Bernie Sanders. That bothered you. Why? Because they hadn't even started and they were quitting. Wait. You know, well, they're 21, 22 years old. Give life a shot. Take a few risks. Take some chances. If nobody should go to bed hungry in America, nobody in America should not be educated. None of those things. But if we don't have kids believing they can make a difference, if they can contribute, something's wrong. As a society, something is wrong. I don't want anybody, I should not, this is the insanity of our system. I get a check every month from our government. Mm -hmm. What a disgrace. There are people out there that need it that should get it. Not me. You draw a line between the private sector and the government and, and where they should stand. In yes. Role. Yeah. I think the more we can do for ourselves, the better we are. Remember this. Somebody who gets a check from the government and does nothing for it, you're taking away from them, in my opinion, self-respect. The kid that gets his first job and has a check, holy smokes, I did that. You know, you build, success is built on... But, the, but what the Sanders uh, supporters would say is, you know, the, they, they talk about the system being rigged. And so they look at Washington and they say, you know, the president's lawyer is getting a lot of money from companies who want influence with the president. So they see that system and they say, you know what, we need a real change in this system. And it's a system where you have 10 million people who are in the working poor. So they're working hard. They're not being lazy. And they still can't succeed in America. So they say something's got to change. Okay. Bernie, Arthur, myself, and Pat Farris started Home Depot. We have 400,000 associates working for the company now, full time. We have 80,000 seasonal in the spring and the fall. <clears throat> we have 3,000 kids that came to work for us out of high school, barely out of high school, pushing carts in from the parking lot. Ready? They're multimillionaires today. Mm. That's the capitalistic system, the way it, look, are they, do we do for everything right? Absolutely not. All I, my, my fervent belief is capitalism is the best way to spread good things among a massive number of people. Do capitalists need then to, Home Depot took the tax cut and gave $1,000 bonuses. Yes. A lot of companies didn't. I think uh, uh, there was one study that found about 45 of the top 500 companies only gave those kind of bonuses. Uh -huh. Do capitalists then need to be more like Home Depot? Look. I'll answer that question this way. The biggest challenge to America, in my opinion, is income inequality. If we don't fix income inequality, you will know what happens. Cuba happens, Venezuela happens, Russia happens. People that are way down, I was on that end. Bear in mind, my parents, mom had to go to work to work in a school cafeteria to put food on the table. We ate well and we had a warm home. We didn't have an air-conditioned home. But the point is, we've got to help these people. But the best way out? is to offer them opportunities where they can develop not only their own skills, but their sense of self-worth. When, when you take away from me my sense of personal belief in myself, nothing's left.
but but should the should people in your position in other companies be doing more? I guess is if if it's not to be done by government, should the capital? Nora very nicely talked about Yankee Stadium. Mm -hmm. I'm not self-made man. There are a lot of people out there who say they're self-made. That's for them to decide. I'm not. Home Depot. Look at what we do for veterans. Look at what we do for. There's a program at Home Depot called, and I'm proud of this, called Ken's Crew for challenged people. We have 400 of them in the company now. Down syndrome, uh, uh, autism, you name it. I can't tell somebody else what's good for them. If somebody wants to say they're self-made, that's their call. Mm -hmm. My call is, man. First of all, this goes on every morning. I look up, Grandma and Grandpa. Thanks for coming to America. Yeah. My grandfather went to school until he was six years old. And in that book, there's a picture of him, and you look at his hand, it's no arm. Why? The man for 66 years from the time he was six years old had a shovel in his hand. Don't look, we got a lot of things we need to work on in America, but we're still the best place on earth, and we're going to get better and better and better. And Ken, you have said there will be no other America, no other country. There'll never be another America. Yeah. No, no. Great Ken, success story. Congratulations Thank on the book. Thank you for Thank having you me. With us. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. His book, I Love Capitalism, an American Story, is on sale wherever you like to buy books.